Did you know there was supposed to be another dragon in Minecraft? Or that villagers used to look like this? And these are 19 of the mobs that Mojang rejected. Villagers have golems and illagers have nothing. Now, this is actually intentional since Mojang has spoken out against adding an illager version of the iron golem mob. And considering that the illagers already have ravagers to help them on their raids, it would make the deck pretty stacked in their favor to have yet another mob helping them out. But in the 1.19 snapshots, it looks as if the illagers are kidnapping the lays and then corrupting them into vexes. So what if they did the same to the captured golems? And having a rusted or evil variant might be a new way to spice up these pillager outposts. Dolphins are adorable, but they could be cuter. Or they would be if Mojang didn't have this rule. But for some reason, baby dolphins only exist in the bedrock version of the game. And there are no plans to add them into Java. Even on Mojang's official list of rejected features, they have baby dolphins listed, with no mention of why that's the case. Though recent updates have seen a lot of steps taken to have parity between Java and Bedrock. So there might still be a future where we have baby dolphins in Java. Drowned jockeys, on the other hand, are a total no-go. See, some fans have asked to have drowned ride the dolphins, similarly to how zombies ride chickens. But according to Mojang, no one gets to ride dolphins, whether that's the player or the monsters. That said, if you use this command here, you can still spawn in a drowned riding a dolphin like so. And it is every bit as terrifying as you'd imagine. This is a miner, this is a miner, and this is a miner's ghost. Now, the idea behind these would be to have lost spirits walking around the caves that could help guide the player to treasure and valuable ores. But as cool as that sounds, Mojang considered it before ultimately rejecting the idea for making it into the game. And this might have something to do with the fact that ghosts are considered as banned media in certain territories. Or maybe they just don't want any ties to a certain creepypasta. And speaking of which, Hero Brian isn't just a Minecraft myth. He's a Minecraft icon. Dating back to a community-made story on 4chan, Herobrine supposedly leaves around spooky sand pyramids and long, pointless tunnels around your single-player world. And despite what some players try to get you to believe, he doesn't exist and never existed in Minecraft's code. But that doesn't mean that Notch didn't acknowledge it. Since, in fact, back in the day, Notch did say on Twitter that he planned to add Herobrine to the game soon. Though, this obviously never happened. And the most that we ever got, and likely will ever get, are these official change logs saying things suggesting that Herobrine was finally removed, even if he wasn't there in the first place. Mummies will never make it into Minecraft. Now, why do I sound so sure? Well, because Mojang themselves deemed that mummies and husk would be too similar of a mob to have in the game. And looking at them side by side, I do see their point. But it would be a cool idea to have some kind of mini boss inside of the desert pyramids, similar to how we have the Elder Guardians in the Ocean Monument. And if Tango Tech's concept is anything to go by, there's a lot of potential here for a memorable fight. This secret rabbit no longer exists in vanilla Minecraft. And the reason for that is because Jeb personally decided it wasn't worth adding into the game. So even though you can still get the killer rabbit by typing in this command, it'll never spawn naturally. The rabbit, which is a reference to the infamous rabbit of Kerbinog from Monty Python and the Holy Grail, was an overplayed joke, according to Jeb. And as such, it'll never be added to the vanilla base game. But in certain snapshots, it does still spawn randomly. And watch out for it there. This is not Steve, nor is this guy. See, all of these decoys are just the unreleased human mob, which used to exist in Minecraft, but were removed before the game was officially released. But back in the day, you could just spawn these guys by pressing the G key, meaning that most early Minecraft tests look like this whole mess. And while they were mostly harmless, there was a version that could damage and even kill the player, behaving much more like a zombie would. Though I'm sure if this was added in today, it would go a long way to help out map makers. I mean, you could make your own NPCs in the world. How cool could that be? And I mean, it's a lot smarter than whatever this is supposed to be. Why are there no sharks in Minecraft? Well, according to Mojang, all hostile mobs need to be fantasy creatures. Otherwise, they might encourage some real world consequences. Make the sharks too docile and people think it's safe to approach them. But make them hostile and you might add on to the ongoing shark finning problem. But even though sharks aren't planned for Minecraft anytime soon, the door is still open for a potential potential shark-inspired mob in the future. And besides, it'd be nice to have a hostile mob that's actually affected by the impaling enchantment, since in Java, it only works on fish, not even the undead drown mob. For the same reasons that sharks won't make it into Minecraft, crocodiles and alligators are also ruled out. Though, this could have a workaround. See, like the polar bear, these mobs could be very territorial, but neutral in some way. So maybe they only attack the player's boat instead of the player, which will encourage you to jump across the lily pads in the swamp instead. And really, even though 
though Mojang has ruled this one out, it might be worth reconsidering some kind of implementation with the changes to the swamps in 1.19's wild update. Or if that's still too realistic, how about having a special crocodile that'll blend into the mud, right up until it's ready to bite you. Minecraft's villagers used to look like this. See, back in 2010, a player suggested adding in pigmen as NPCs into the game. And for a time, these were the things that were planned to live in the villages, instead of the Squidwards that we all know today. But even though that got shelved, the idea of a zombie pigmen did make it into the game. And so we got these instead though even those mobs were removed to make room for zombified piglins instead. So it seems like Mojang can never quite decide what to do with them. Which is a shame, since the idea was that you could even hire these pigmen as bodyguards, which is something Mojang even refuses to do for villagers. But let's talk about that later in the video. The Ender Dragon wasn't supposed to be the only dragon in Minecraft. And in fact, there used to be an idea for a red dragon as well. As Notch said, this mob would have been slightly less dangerous than the Ender Dragon, and that they would have spawned in the overworld instead. And hey, even Jeb and Dinnerbone have mentioned wanting to add the mob at some point. So it's definitely been considered, but it doesn't seem like it's coming anytime soon, if at all. Now, this is a villager night. And while fans would love to see this, Mojang has gone on record saying that they will never make it into the game. Yep, villagers are pacifists, and that's why the Iron Golems exist. But that doesn't explain why if you use a dispenser, it's possible to equip armor onto a villager like so. And look, it'll even function like normal, allowing our villagers to use the thorns and other enchantments. So maybe this was considered at some point during their development, but going forward, they've put their foot down, and there are no plans to see these violent villagers in the future, even if it would be cool. This is what the wither looks like in one point. 18, and this is what a wither looks like in Minecraft 2.0. See, this here is the Friendly Wither, a mob exclusive to Java Edition's 2.0 update. But that update will never officially come out, since it's another one of Mojang's April Fool's jokes. Though if you have that update, it is possible to spawn in the pink wither by placing a potted rose on top of pink wool. And instead of destroying blocks nearby like the regular wither, this one will actually heal mobs and grow plants like so. And that's not the only useful mob from Minecraft 2.0. See, the chicken also got a new variant. Variant. And this blue one is called the Diamond Chicken. Now, I'm sure you can guess what it does from the name. And sure enough, this OP chicken lays diamonds and lapis instead of eggs. Though, be careful fighting with any of these things, because they're actually neutral mobs now, and they'll explode when they're killed. And if those are my options, I'd much rather get free diamonds than blown up. Just saying. This mob could have been in Minecraft, but now it never will. See, from the 2017 mob vote, Mojang showed off four designs, with only the Phantom being the one to make it into the game. And according to the developer, Developers, the other ones that got outvoted are doomed to never be released in game. So this Kraken mob will only exist in this mod. The Monster of the Ocean Depths, as it was called, is a hostile mob that chases you down, whether you're swimming or in a boat. And if it gets close, it'll pull you in like so. Which sounds scary, but how much worse could this be than a drowned trident? That's true fear. Though the Kraken wasn't even the most dangerous mob that got outvoted. But before we talk about the wildfire, we need to look at the Great Hunger. Think of this mob like a bear trap. It burrows into the ground, and then, when you walk by, it pounces from the floor and attacks you. Which sounds bad, but this mob can actually be quite useful. See, if you were to throw two enchanted books, both with sharpness 5, into its mouth, it'll swallow them like so. And then, if we throw in a sword thereafter, it'll be enchanted now with sharpness 6. Yeah, this thing is basically a supercharged anvil, allowing for items that we could never have possible in vanilla. And if I were you, I'd use this to put together some extra strong fire protection, because we're gonna need it when fighting this thing. Now, at first glance, this mob looks a lot like a blaze. But make no mistake, this wildfire would have been a much more fierce variant to fight in the nether. With tons of health and even its own armor, this mob is very tough to get rid of. That, and it can even put up its own shields to become temporarily invulnerable. So to kill this, it'd probably be best to keep our distance, since it can send out a wave of fireballs like so. And that's no joke, especially when it gets stronger the lower that its health bar gets. And maybe it's for the best that we don't have to fight such a thing in our vanilla fortresses. But if you're in Minecraft dungeons, it's not a safe for you. What do you call this Minecraft mob? Nowadays, I think we'd all agree it's a chicken, but that wasn't always the case. And there used to be a heated debate during the beta that this mob was a duck, not a chicken. I mean, even Notch referred to the mob as the chicken, duck, whatevers. So maybe that history is why Mojang decided that ducks will never be added to Minecraft. Though if you look at these community made examples, it's clear that there is a lot more to be done here than just recoloration to the chickens. But instead, they could swim around in the new 1.19 swamps and rivers. And hey, according to the YouTube King, no one's ever subscribed to the channel using their right pinky finger. So if you're up to the challenge, point your fifth digit to that red sub button below. It's free and it helps out a ton. And with that folks, check out this video about 25 new mobs that Mojang could add to Minecraft. And have a good one, all right?